Understanding, Mark the Boundary, a guide to English phrases. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, mark the boundary. This is a common expression in English, and understanding it can really help you in both speaking and writing. Let's dive in. The phrase, mark the boundary, is made up of two key words, mark and boundary. Mark, in this context means to indicate or to delineate. A boundary, on the other hand, refers to a dividing line or limit between two areas. So, when we say, mark the boundary, we are talking about indicating where one area ends and another begins. It can be used both literally and metaphorically. In its literal sense, mark the boundary is often used to talk about physical spaces. For example, if a farmer says, I need to mark the boundary of my land, they mean they need to show where their property ends. This could be done with a fence, a line of trees, or even stones. Metaphorically, mark the boundary is used in various contexts. It can refer to setting limits in relationships or rules. For instance, saying, it's important to mark the boundaries in a professional relationship, means it's essential to define what is acceptable behavior and what isn't. Let's see how this phrase works in different sentences. 1. The city council decided to mark the boundary of the pedestrian zone with bright yellow lines. 2. In the meeting, the manager marked the boundaries clearly, stating what was and wasn't part of our responsibilities. And there you have it, a comprehensive look at the phrase, mark the boundary. Whether it's used literally or metaphorically, this phrase is all about defining limits and making clear distinctions. We hope this video has been helpful in your journey to mastering English. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning!